Hey guys, so here I am, all toned and treated and moisturized and glowing and ready to go. Thank you, thank you. So, what I want to show you guys is our liquid foundation, which is often called liquid gold or airbrush in a bottle. You know, take your pick, it's pretty much magic. So, first step is to prime. Very, very important, as you know. It helps to give your makeup a smooth base to adhere to. It helps to prevent your makeup from seeping into all of the little fine lines and wrinkles you may or may not have on your face. And it helps make your makeup last all day, which I know we all want. And you actually can use a little bit less makeup because it's not sinking into your skin. So, primer. Just gonna let it kind of sit for a minute and you can see how not perfect my skin is right you can see that right a lot of redness a lot of weird like squiggly little like blood vessel things that you can see I mean it's not it's not perfect but we're gonna fix that we're gonna fix that right up don't even worry about it so liquid foundation you're gonna want to give it a shake for sure um, that's going to thicken up the product and bring it to the correct consistency. So squeeze out the dropper. This is just like a little eyedropper. Squeeze it out so that you're not stuck with improperly consistent stuff in the dropper. Because that's going to be what you use. So squeeze out the dropper. Shake it up. And then suck some up. You probably know how to use an eyedropper, yeah? And then I just kind of... Put a little around my face. You can put it directly onto the brush. I find that um, you kind of waste a little product when you do it that way. And I think I definitely just got it on my shirt. Oh no. I find you waste a little bit of product if you put it directly onto a foundation brush, but however you want to do it, it's fine with me. Then I just take my brush, swirl it around a little. There's the magic, people. This stuff is no joke, I'm telling you. This stuff is no joke, you guys. It's no joke. And, ah, yeah, 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 more of that. So just swirl it all around. And this, so this is a liquid, but it does dry to a powder finish, a little matte powder finish so you I haven't found a need to set with powder over top which is kind of nice um and this product is great for just about any skin type I have fairly dry skin so for me this is not what works best with my skin but I still use it frequently because it's freaking amazing. Okay, can you see that? Can you see that? Okay, freaking amazing. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Then I take my liquid concealer. Now, if you want to highlight, you can use a concealer that's a couple of shades lighter than whatever foundation you're using. Or if you just want um, to conceal blemishes or what have you, you would use the same color because this comes in the same colors as the liquid foundation. So I just do a little triangle under each eye because if you conceal just like right here, you're actually going to bring more attention to the bags and the darkness and all the stuff you're trying to hide um, because it's not going to look super natural. So if you bring it all the way down in a triangle fashion and then blend up, see how I didn't go all the way up? That's because I want less product up at the top right under my eye. So if you bring it all the way up in this triangle motion, you can see, you can see, it's just like a little bit brighter, but it's not like crazy looking, you know what I'm saying? You got it. So this is one combination that I love, the liquid foundation and the liquid concealer. Pretty magical. 
The um, liquid foundation actually has something in it called Juvenescence, which helps to um, increase the elasticity of your skin, which makes you look younger for longer, and who doesn't want that? So that is how I just kind of dab it in with my finger. It's like the best, one of the best makeup tools right here on your hand. And then I take my blending bud and I spray it with my rose water. Just a little couple of spritzes, let it dry a little bit. And then I just tap everything in using my blending bud spritzed with rose water to really give it that flawless finish. Now you don't have to use the rose water. You can just use water. Just hold it under the sink, the faucet, squeeze it a couple times. It's a sponge, so you'll feel it expand with water. Um, rinse it out a couple times, wring it out a couple times, and then, you know, just sort of squeeze really, really hard, get out as much water as you can, and then just blend with that. Totally an option. Like I said, I prefer the rose water for a couple of reasons. It's good for redness and inflammation, which I have redness in my face, for sure. It can also be used as a setting spray, so the, for me, this is double duty. Then I'm just going to use the pointy side. Spray that a little bit to really get into all of these smaller nooks and crannies that I have around here. So yeah, it's like way better, right? You can tell, right? It's like way better love it okay so that is the liquid foundation and liquid concealer combo let me know if you need a color match thank you guys for stopping by and i will see you guys later bye